What's up, everybody? Good morning. Uh, it is day, I don't know, whatever, of quarantine, um, of this coronavirus scenario. And I got to tell you, I do know one thing. This will get better. Uh, this is definitely going to um, change and improve. And we may have a little bit of tough time to go, may get a little worse before it gets better, but uh, it will get better for sure. Um, I think this is unprecedented times for real estate agents and brokers. Uh, I was about to say investors because they're added in this as well. Um, but I think that smart <clears throat> real estate agents uh, can do some things that are going to uh, enable them to capitalize on this market. That's right. I said capitalize. Not a lot of people are thinking about what's happening here. And, <coughs> excuse me, I think today you're going to see a stimulus package come out and it may put a band aid on some things. And, you know, uh, but it also may damage us long term um, uh, by way of national debt. And I'm not here to talk about that uh, specifically right now. What I'm here to talk about today on today's webinar is how you, the real estate agent, uh, whether you're with Anton or not, uh, we may have some uh, non-Anton guests on here, uh, can capitalize on what's going on. Because I do think the remnants of this is going to last uh, longer than the recovery. The remnants of this are going to last longer than the, the recovery. In other words, the disease will be squared away or at least highly diminished, but the remnants to our economy and to most importantly, uh, the real estate market is going to be um, with us for quite a while, a long, long time. So let's get right to it. Let me go ahead and share my screen. I've taken some uh, pretty cool notes uh, with this. I got my other screen over here. I'm in my uh, makeshift office here at home in the dining room. I've got my coffee notice I don't have Dunkin' Donuts, but I do have baby's coffee. This is probably the best coffee on the planet if you guys have uh, um, if you guys have been down, down to New Orleans or Key West, Florida uh, kind of thing. So, okay, let's get right to it. I'm going to share my screen. Um, let me go ahead and do that. Let me go ahead and get this on. This is kind of the document um, that I'm going to uh, do in the new Corona virus. I'm just going to put economy. Let me explain what I mean by that. It, it's, it's, this is what's changing for us. What's happening in the new coronavirus economy? Because again, the disease is going to leave us, uh, shortly. I don't know if it's a month or six weeks or two months or whenever it is, but it's going to leave us. But what will stay will be this economy. Even though there will be a stimulus package or a couple stimulus packages coming out, and there's going to be you know uh, other things that are changing uh, with regards to laws and things like that, quite possibly, um, the real estate agent and broker, you have to act in a different way. And these are some things, some of these things you should be already doing anyway. Uh, but the first thing, let's go to my notes. The first thing is... Uh, communicate changes to your audience daily, daily. This is really, really, really important, guys. Uh, you know, I've said this probably over the last two or three years. If you want to make this real estate agent broker thing your life, if you want to make this your uh, way that you make a living, not only just surviving, but thriving, thriving in this new economy and thriving move, moving forward, you've got to communicate to your audience daily. How you do that is up to you, whether it's email marketing or text marketing or social media, whatever that is, but you've got to communicate what's happening daily in your market. Um, some people even document by video what they do every day. I think that's fine too. It's a little intrusive, but if you want to go to that extent, you certainly can. But communicate changes to your audience daily. Today, we're going to get a stimulus package. 
Um, this is definitely without a doubt going to affect real estate. It's going to affect the, you know, if and when people pay their mortgage, how people pay their rent, what forgiveness banks are going to give and lenders and landlords have to give by law to those. I mean, that's something that you can communicate to your audience today, uh, not just repeating what the law says, but more importantly, giving your take on it and how it affects your local market, how it affects your local market. Um, become, again, become the local market expert. Very, very important that you do that. So when anything comes out, you are communicating how that affects your local market. Be the local go-to person for that. Um, and you can use anything you want. You can use email marketing. You could use text marketing, which is really becoming a go-to thing now. You could use social media, which is cool. You could use video. All these things uh, you can use to communicate changes to your audience daily. This, without a doubt, is going to affect the real estate market, the way houses are shown, the way <clears throat> price points are listed. Um, this is a very, this is what we call an acute market situation. It happened fast. It's going to stay with us quickly, but the remnants are going to last. The commercial market is, is it got hit severely hard by this. <clears throat> the residential market, we don't really understand yet. I don't think it's going to affect pricing because uh, it's a different scenario than the crash in 08, but uh, it will affect pricing. We just don't know yet how it will do that the ability to get loans. If the stimulus package comes out and banks feel secure and lenders feel secure, I think we're going to be fine on the residential side. But your audience needs to know that. Your audience needs to know that. So let's go to number two here. And uh, I want to save enough room because I've, I've got a couple of sites I want to give you here. Uh, number two, uh, and it, it plays, it goes without saying, number two, be digitally visible. So are you doing Facebook ads? Did I spell visible right? Viz. Jeez, John. Visible. Uh, be digitally visible. I, I can't tell you how many people are on this or on their iPad or, uh, you know, they're on social media. This is paramount. This is where their attention is. If their attention's here, you have to go there. I'm, I'm quoting or paraphrasing, you know, uh, my friend Gary Vaynerchuk a little bit on that, but go where their attention is. That's where you need to be discussing. This is where you need to pop up as an ad. This is where you need to uh, make sure that your face, your business, your email, your personal webpage is uh, in front of them. Without a doubt, you've got to be digitally visible, especially with everything going on. I took a few more notes with that, so allow me to share here, and then I'll put them on uh, the scenario there. Uh, as more consumers turn to the internet and social platforms like Facebook, YouTube, and other websites for info, that's why they're going there, and to pass the moment, it's important to get a solid digital existence into their hands. Uh, how do you supply your clients with killer buying or communicative uh, experience, even if they don't leave their home? How do you do that? How do you make them say, hey, when I, when I go to find a new place, I'm going to use Mary. When I go to sell my new, or when I go to sell my house, I'm going to use Tom. That's the agent, right? Uh, Mary's the agent, Tom's the agent. So utilize Facebook um, a, a lot. You know, Instagram is also huge. LinkedIn. LinkedIn is one of the hottest ways that you can market as an agent. It's going to be real important that you do that. Maybe even put a live chat on if you with your site. Um, <clears throat> if you're part of the Anton Group, you, you should have your own personal website. You should be marketing that. Um, we don't have live chat on there yet, but it's coming. Uh, Facebook Messenger is another way to uh, go back and forth together with uh, prospects, you know, play a video, virtual presentations. Matter of fact, I just made a virtual presentation last night. I'll be 
putting a video together later today. Uh, and that's going out. That one's uh, used for uh, the, our Anton business as well. Um, but all of this stuff, digitally visible. It's 2020, guys. You definitely need to be doing this. Um, also, you can encourage uh, your uh, database. You can encourage your prospects uh, with communication. And the best way today, as you know, we use Zoom here a lot. Uh, it's so funny because as this um, whole thing has been rolled out, this idea of uh, communicating over Zoom and uh, Google Hangouts and you know some of the other uh, sites, Skype, I'm sure, uh, has really become popular. I've been using this all along and I've had friends like reach out to me over the last week. How do I use Zoom? How do I get into this? What do I need to do? You know, time of, type of thing. But it is a really great way to communicate, especially when you can't leave your house. It's really, you know, a, a great platform to uh, have meetings, to express, you know, do a presentation, uh, that type of thing. I can easily put a PowerPoint on here, a video. Uh, you know, we're doing this from a note-based thing, but I really like the platform. It works really well. And there's other ones too, you know, go to meeting and things like that. So uh, do not be afraid to um, uh, use this. Uh, tip number three, tip number three is offer and promote simple, a simple buying experience. So offer and promote a simple buying experience. So, uh, you know, as you guys all know, sorry, I'm not the best typer when I'm on webinars. As you guys all know, um, our clients are, are what we call here in our trainings, buy, sell, rent. That's our clients, buy, sell, rent. We are looking for people that are buying real estate. We are looking for people that are selling real estate. We are looking for people that want to rent real estate or lease real estate. Uh, those are our clients. How are you making this so simple for them to do that? In other words, if they're buying, do you have a lender in place? If they're selling, do you have a title company ready to go? Um, if you are, uh, you know, how do you make it so simple for them so that when they think of Mary and Tom, the real estate agent and the broker, uh, they think, man, I, the reason that I want to work with them is because they have everything lined up. Their team's lined up. They're ready to go. And that's going to be real important in today's market. Why? Because I do believe if the real estate market residentially and commercially, by the way, is going to be affected. It's going to, and how that and how that applies to us, the real estate agent broker, is that there's going to be properties for sale. You know, I was talking to one of our agents down in Florida this week, and um, we were talking a little bit about marketing. And one of the things that he is doing is a major postcard campaign to his local neighborhood. Um, because he knows just like him, you know, everything's squeezed here. It's like income stopped, business stopped. It's on pause. The first thing people are thinking about doing is, Hey, I need to sell some assets to survive or to pay the bills or whatever it is, but they don't even know you're around. They're not going to come to you, obviously. So one of the things that I think is effective right now that you can do right now to take advantage of this new coronavirus economy, uh, and again, the coronavirus is going to leave us a lot sooner than the fallout with this economy is, is to number one, get noticed, as we've been talking about, get your name out there. But number four uh, that I talked about here is offer a situation where um, you are giving your clients buy, sell, rent. That's your clients a simple buying experience. If they use you, the process is simple and it's quick. Um, this should be kind of embedded in your presentation. They want to list with you because uh, you know the market better than anybody else. Uh, they want to list with you because uh, you are going to price their property accordingly. What does that mean? That means you're not going to price it higher than it should be in this market today uh, because you want to sell it. There's, an, um, there's a problem to solve as we, as we go, uh, have gone through. If you, by the way, if you've been in your agent broker blueprint training, you know a huge part of that sales um, uh, 
curriculum that's in there is all about what problem do you have to solve as a real estate agent and broker. And so we definitely have problems to solve. People want to sell their houses. So make sure that you're giving them the simplest buying experience. Go through buy, sell, rent. Again, those are your clients. And break that process down and make sure you have a solution for every problem that could come up. Make sure you have a, a, a partner, a title company, a mortgage broker, uh, whoever, to fit every part of that process in that cycle, buy, sell, rent. If you don't, call me. I will help you. Uh, if you do, great. Let's start putting that in place so that you can, you can talk to your prospective clients about that. That's going to be really, uh, really important. So number four and number five. Um, number four and number five. Uh, these are things that specific things that you can do right now. The first three were a little bit, you know, in general. <clears throat> but in, with the time that we have left, I want to give you specific things. Number four, I think right now this is uh, a really good way uh, to get your name out there. Um, besides social media, we know that. Um, I, what I would be doing is just going back to be digitally visible. Number two, I would do Facebook ads right now. I would do a tiny ad in my neighborhood. That's it. So when somebody gets on the Facebook or even another uh, type doing ads on LinkedIn or whatever it is, boom, your name pops up with your uh, simple buying experience, how you can help them and how you can help them right now. Not in a month, not in five months, but right now, calm them down. We talked about uh, in the, the uh, by the way, not to keep going back to this agent broker blueprint sales thing, but man, it's some fantastic work. If you haven't got there, make sure you go through that training. It's really going to help you. We talk about the different chemistry that goes through the brain in the buying process and sales process. And man, there's some cortisol going on right now. Uh, out there because there's a lot of stress. But there's a postcard system I'd like you guys to be aware of. And um, one of them is, I'm going to give you three of them. You can use any one you want, uh, but I would go to a postcard system with um, a couple of things. Number one, I would really highlight your neighborhood. I would really uh, focus on the people that are directly uh, right around my neighborhood. That's the first thing that I would do. So let me give you a couple. The first one is uh, something called Prospect Plus. Um, these are ones that we've used in the past. They've got a lot of campaigns just listed, sold, uh, that type of thing. What I would do <coughs> is I would go to uh, they've got expired listings. They've got fence sitter. I think that's probably a good one right now. I would go to um, also one that gives them the home valuation. It's on here. I'm going to miss it here. Uh, they've got, where is it? I just passed it. Short sale, uh, Sphere Farm. These are all really good. Anyway, the other one is, uh, I probably just passed it here. Um, yeah, I probably did just pass it. But I would go to the one that gives home valuations. That's a good one because people are thinking about how much their home is worth and what they need to do. So I would definitely spend some time in here. I would uh, put those in place. You can do all this from right from here. And again, I don't have anything to do with Prospect Plus, but this is a great way that you can do this. Select it, map it, and track it. Uh, you can map it right from the site. If I click this, it will uh, tell you specifically what to do, either map it by mail or you can do a demographic search, uh, very much like you can do on Facebook. Another one that you could use, just give you a couple of options here, is something called Wise Pelican. Um, you can create a free account. You can see a ton of the templates. And again, I don't have anything to do with this, but I just want to give you an example of what this looks like. Hopefully you can hear this video when we're playing it here. Maybe that's too loud. So you see how easy these things are to change, right? And again, you can use all of these uh, tools to your advantage. I really 
really think that what I would do is I would get in there and I would really kind of create these campaigns. It's going to cost you a little bit of investment, but man, if you can get this specific um, with your neighborhood and track your campaigns and all of that, I think you're going to be in really good shape. Um, and I'll just let this play out just so you can see it. Okay. You know, it may cost you a little bit to get this done, but I'm telling you, people are freaking out out there. You can become the voice of reason. You can solve this for them and help them with a postcard campaign in conjunction with your digital marketing campaigns to be your local market expert. Um, <coughs> excuse me. And how you solve... I'm okay, guys. And how you solve the problems that they're looking at. I think it's going to be really, really uh, important for you to do that. And then finally, I wanted to leave you with this. Um, I will put this in, um, or you can copy this, this domain. This is an article that I read uh, that talked about these postcard campaigns. And these, these are the campaigns that work. They've been tested and proven. So uh, just listed, just sold, expired listings, FISBOs, new agent postcards, offering a service, seller CMA postcards. I think this is where I would go right now. This one right here, offering a service, seller CMA postcards. I would really kind of even use this. I'd probably add a picture, maybe put that on the back. Um, but uh, this is really to generate new seller leads. And I would send those right now. I'm telling you, it's a hot month for sales. I think there's going to be more inventory on the market. This is the other one that I would do, the fence sitter selling postcard. Um, and, you know, you don't want to create pandemonium or uh, uh, fear, more fear. But you want, to, you want to structure this. I like your logo being there. If you have your own logo besides the Anton logo, your face, uh, obviously your picture. Uh, the, the information on how they contact you, a call to action. But I would really kind of position the fence sitter and I would position the um, seller CMA cards as your lead go-tos. And then um, not on the buyer side, fence sitter, the fence sitter on the seller side. And I would really, I would really position those and I would really watch the stats on those because I think you can do very, very well. Uh, if you act on this and do this sooner rather than later, I think it's going to be real, real important. So this is an article from theclose.com. If you uh, put in backslash real hyphen estate hyphen postcards backslash, uh, just copy these. Go to the Pelican uh, site, uh, Wise Pelican, or go to Prospect Plus and copy those. Just copy what they have. They already work. And I think you're going to be in good shape. You may spend a few hundred bucks, but I think if you can get one or two or more listings out of it, your return is going to be uh, tremendous. So the last thing that I wanted to leave you with is um, this. All of you have a uh, Anton <clears throat> personal website. Um, let me just kind of finish this out. So Wise Pelican and Prospect Plus. And then let me put this in here. I wanted to put this article in here. Uh, Theclose.com. Sorry, I'm just such a slow typer. Theclose.com backslash. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Real estate postcards backslash. Got it, John. Real estate postcards backslash. That's it. If you go there, you can you can get all of that info. And then finally, number five, and we're gonna we'll wrap with this is your own personal web site. If you're with Anton, you all have this. My question to you is, how many of you are using this today 
so that <clears throat> you can promote yourself in this time of need with your community. How many people are putting this out there? You know, this should be at the bottom of every one of your emails. This should be at the bo- the forefront of your social media. This should be at the the for on your postcards. This should be uh, all over the place. And if you do that, this this is again another way that they can get on the your site where they don't leave your domain, your world, and they can. Um, kind of start to look at what's out there with pricing and how they sell their home and and things like that. Feel free to customize that to put uh, how you're helping your clients today. There's those are certainly customizable by you. And I would also be uh, making sure that you put uh, any updates on there and stay relevant, especially because this is a very fluid situation with the uh, coronavirus. So that's it. I wanted to cover these five things. Of course, I know everyone's, even though we're we're trapped in our houses pretty much, I want to make sure that we kept this short and brief. These are things that I I think you can do right now that'll make the most impact. Communicate changes to your audience daily. Become the local market expert. Email marketing, text marketing, social media, video, et cetera. Be digitally uh, visible. Very, very important that you do that. Uh, You should be everywhere during this time. Offer and promote a simple buying uh, experience. Buy, sell, rent. Those are your clients, and you're going to have to make sure that they understand working with you is going to be simple, effective, and very profitable, uh, or at least very uh, solution-orientated to their problems. That's probably a better way to say that. Number four, the postcard system. You can use whoever you want, Weiss Pelican, Prospect Plus, <clears throat> but go through to the article on the close.com backslash real estate postcards backslash that will give you some really good copy, some really good language to use in your postcard design, the fence sitter and also representing sellers uh, with CMAs or giving them <clears throat> what their home value is worth is very important. If you do that right now, I'm pretty sure you're going to get some attention on that. Uh, But you got to act on that if you want to take advantage of what's going on out there. And then finally, number five, your own personal website. Um, Making sure you get that out there. Making sure that, uh, again, you are the local market expert. You're the voice of reason in your market. And they know where to go to make that happen for you. So that's what I would do. I would make sure that happens. I would put that into play. That's how you're going to be able to help yourself and build your business during this time where people really need answers and they really need help. And that's why you're there in the first place. That's why you're doing this business. So that's it for the training today. We will be back tomorrow where we're going to be talking more about uh, the sales process and more importantly, the close. So you don't want to miss that. We will see you tomorrow on the training. Uh, Other than that, say, say folks, wealth has nothing to do with money. Success has everything to do with failure. And life is as simple as you want to make it. We'll talk soon. Uh, Stay safe.